this is a little pitch uh, to remind everyone that uh, Friday is uh, We Are Evansville Community Pride Day, and the month of June is We Are Evansville Month. And uh, what we're encouraging people to do uh, is to buy one of the We Are Evansville t-shirts. Uh, they are on sale here. We'll tell you how to get those and how where the money goes in just a little bit. Uh, and we want to encourage everyone to wear these t-shirts on Friday and come out to uh, Evening on the River on Friday night. Enjoy our beautiful riverfront and promote our great city. Uh, then on Saturday, June 1st, it's our uh, monthly Clean Evansville initiative. We're going through downtown. Uh, my team will be starting at Kid, Kids Kingdom and be working in that general area. And then at 1030, we're going to gather near the Pagoda to have our ceremonial dumping of the trash. And then 11 o'clock, we're going to gather for a, a uh, community photograph as part of the we, Evans, we Are Evansville project. We'll tell you about that in just a couple of minutes as well. Uh, if you're interested in participating in our Clean Evansville initiative on Saturday, we'd still love to have you. We have about 100 volunteers signed up already. Just call Keep Evansville Beautiful and you can sign up to help us out on Saturday. Um, and again, immediately following the uh, cleanup, we'll have the wrap-up video and the We Are Evansville display and uh, really excited about this. So far, uh, I am proud to announce that uh, we have sold more than 5,500 We Are Evansville t-shirts. 5,500. That says absolutely. That says a lot about our community pride. This time I'd like to introduce Pam Hype from the Evansville Parks Foundation and the instructor from USI whose class started the We Are Evansville campaign. Pam. Thank you. Um, I've got some of my students with me. We know everybody has summer jobs, so we've got a few that are, are still here. Um, we just want to encourage everybody to come out on Saturday morning for the photo shoot. It's pretty exciting. We are going to take actually an idea from uh, Patricia passed it on to us from another community, but we are going to spell out the words Evansville in people. So we uh, are asking everybody to. We'll start shooting promptly at 11. So we need people to arrive early if they want to be there, if they want to participate. We're going to meet at Four Freedoms, and then we will put you where we need you to go. We've actually figured out how many people it takes to fill every letter of the word Evansville. So um, we're going to spell out Evansville with the people that live here in our community and, and we're pretty excited about it. We're gonna have uh, several cameras shooting it. We're gonna do some still shots and it's, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And um, if you have a shirt, wear it. If you don't have one, we will have them available that morning for sale. If you don't, you can't buy one, just show up in a bright colored shirt and you will still be able to participate. Um, we're very, very excited about where this whole thing has gone. I think the kids, when they started it, they can talk to you a little bit about it. Um, they really wanted to show what Evansville really looks like in, it, um, in response to the survey that we aren't going to mention. Um, but it's turned out to be much more than that. It's turned out to be a community that's come together to show pride. And that is um, something that we didn't bank on, but oh my gosh, it's, it's amazing. So we're, we're pretty excited about it. I don't know if any of you guys want to add anything. <laughs> this is Jesse. <laughs> if anybody has, still has any pictures out there they'd like to send into us, we are Evansville at gmail.com. We're still collecting pictures from uh, what people are proud about with Evansville. We'd like to somehow incorporate that possibly still into the video. So we are Evansville at gmail.com. And uh, thank you for everybody's support. It's been outrageous. So make sure you all stay tuned and come to the video and be incorporated still. Anybody else? I'll just add that. We just want to remember, remember that everybody this is not the end of We Are Evansville, this is just the beginning of it. So just keep focused on that and we have more to come. Anyone tell them where to get t-shirts before Friday, Saturday? Yeah, you can still get them here at Parks Department um, through Friday evening. Um, we will have them available Saturday morning, but they're here. Um, and the so prices are only $5 up to, from child size up to extra large and 2X and 3X are $7. So the money does go back to the Parks Foundation and we have Jim Michaels here uh, from the board who um, can talk a little bit about that if you wanted to. So uh, one of the things that the Parks Foundation benefits from with this kind of great uh, thought work and, and uh, involvement in our community is that we actually benefit from selling these as well. So we can share the pride and we can benefit our parks by doing that because part of the proceeds from each one of the t-shirt sales go from that. So they will be available 
at Evening on the River, which I'll give a short plug to, uh, is uh, Friday night starting at 6.30 on the riverfront. There are 13 different stops along the riverfront, and actually a couple additional to that, where there will be entertainment of all sorts and food of all sorts and, and beverages of multiple sorts also. Uh, it's a great time. Come join us if you can. Come buy a shirt. Come celebrate Saturday too. Hi, I'm Denise Johnson, Parks Director for the City, and um, I think it was a great idea having the Parks Foundation uh, sell the t-shirts for uh, uh, a little bit of the income. Uh, the Parks Foundation does so many things for the City of Evansville, uh, for the parks, for the community, for quality of life, everything, so it was a, it's a great give back for us to be able to do that out of our offices. Um, we actually have one of our part-time uh, employees who does most of the sales. Um, she tries to find out where the shirts are going. We've had them go to Australia, China, California. Uh, I know myself, I've worn mine up in India a couple times since they came out. And it's very interesting, people come up and they ask you, you know, are you from Evansville and what's the t-shirt all about? Um, and I think, what a great thing, you know, this, this sprang from a horrible survey, which was incorrect. but. Do we look miserable? I mean, in no way do we look miserable. I mean, we're, we all look happy, happy to be here. So I think, you know, not only is it spreading the, root, the, the word in our community and beefing up togetherness and support for the community, but we're spreading the word across the country and across the world um, about Evansville. And so um, what a great thing that is. So uh, come buy a t-shirt. See Beth. <laughs> Okay, so again, we've sold 5,500 t-shirts, uh, more than 5,500 so far. That's a great thing. Uh, I'll just give you a, a quick rundown of who have, uh, from the business community, has helped us out. And it's an impressive list of uh, corporate supporters. And one of my sheets of paper here. Okay, we have uh, Oswald Communications. We have Old National Bank. We have St. Mary's Hospital, Deaconess Hospital, Energy Systems Group, Veteran Corporation. Springley Financial Services, F.C. Tucker MD Realtors, Sigma pa pa Packaging, WEHT, WTBW, Tri-State Homepage, Evansville Commerce Bank, the Chamber of Commerce of Southwest Indiana, and Pita Pit. All these groups and more have bought uh, t-shirts so far for their employees. Uh, I can't thank uh, the corporate community enough and just individuals who come out and purchase these. This is uh, a great way to show support for our great city. So with that, uh, we're glad to have handle any questions for any of these folks. Mayor, I think a news release from your office said local businesses can help Friday by putting stuff on their billboards and stuff? Absolutely. Friday is, uh, we are Evansville Community Pride Day, so anything a business can do on their marquee, on the, like, whether it's a, um, maybe it's an electronic billboard, whatever, any way to celebrate the great city that we are. We encourage businesses and uh, civic groups around the city to do so. And Mayor or Pam, I was wondering, are there specific uses you envision for the video and still pictures right now, or is that yet to be developed? Or Well, the, the goal all along was to create a YouTube video. That was always the plan with the, with the students, and so that's still the plan. And what we wanted to do was incorporate, uh, we decided to kind of crowdsource those pictures and ask the community, please send us pictures of what you think shows our community what do you think our community looks like we are Evansville so show us what you think and we've gotten what over 200 pictures probably so far um, and we need more and those will be incorporated and our thought was that those final shot that we're shooting on Saturday will be the end of the video 